by the time I got out, because when I got transferred from the Coral Sea, uh, only because she was going back overseas, um, I was here getting discharged. And I am sure by the time I got out, he was, uh, he was a uh, chief warrant officer. Yeah. And if I recall in those days, the exams were fleet-wide exams. Fleet-wide so exams. You just didn't get the rating. No. Nope. Nope. You had to take nope. the uh, test. Yeah, exactly. For accomplishment. Um, four years in the service. Do you remember your last day in the service, Vinny? Yeah, I think I do. It was, uh, it was in a barracks in Norfolk, I guess around Hampton Roads out there somewhere. And uh, we all got a physical. And I said, uh, any of you gentlemen uh, have anything you want to ask about your health at all or whatever? <laughs> I didn't tell you this, but I asked, I said, you know, uh, Lieutenant, I feel every time I swallow, I hear a click, click, click. And he says to me, Jesus, if I could hear it, we could make some money on this. <laughs> click, click, click. That was kind of a silly thing, but I can remember it. Yeah. You know? And how about your first day home? Oh, the first day home, yeah, I didn't even, um, I don't even think I went home. I went right to see my wife, my, my girlfriend at that time. Right. Yeah. But um, it went fast. It went fast, very fast. Some of your jobs uh, after the service, you mentioned about driving a, a truck of a corn feed or something. Yeah, well, like in those days, there wasn't too much going on in terms of heavy duty um, equipment stuff for building. Um, it was right after the war, of course, and uh, things, were, things were okay, but nothing really going on. And um, John Marcella, who owned Marcella's Hardware, uh, in Hillsdale here, <clears throat> he wanted to start a truck route and, and uh, deliver bird seed and, and corn and hay for horses and all that. So that's what I did for about eight months. Uh -huh. And uh, from there on, I went into a trade. I went into uh, installing carpet, linoleum, and tile. Right. And then your career really started with the Hillsdale Police Department. Yeah, How well, did that come about? that's true. I, uh, I worked for two years in, as an installer, and in November of that second year, I got laid off. Three of us got laid off, and I didn't have a job, and I, I worked for a gas station pumping gas because I had two little kids. Well, one little kid, I guess. Yeah, my daughter, Pat. And um, started pumping gas and got hooked on the ambulance corps help out there, and I helped out there with the ambulance corps, and then, of course, uh, I had to help the cops, and <laughs> I joined the uh, police reserve under a fellow by the name of Milt Zabriskie. And from there on in, uh, uh, Harold McEnany, which was a mayor at the time, called me one day in an April of 59, 57. He said, would you like to work for us full time? I said, yes, yeah, sure. And uh, he says, come on down, you know. And that full time turned yep. into how many years? Yeah, uh, 29. 29 yeah. years. Um, where and how did you meet your wife, Lil? Uh, Lillian and I were, um, uh, we met through a, a friend of, of brothers. And uh, we had a double date. And she was in the front seat with her girlfriend was driving. And me and my, my buddy, <laughs> young fellow by the name of Jimmy Burns from Oradell, he, uh, he was in the back with me. And before we got out of the car, we, uh, we asked for their telephone numbers. And my wife <laughs> gave hers to the driver. And my partner gave his to the driver. And here I am out in limbo. I ain't got no telephone numbers. Uh, I guess my wife must have grabbed one, uh -huh. and she ended up with me. So we, we kicked it off right there and then, right there and then. It was, uh, that was love at first sight. I, I mean it. <laughs> and how many years are you married now, buddy? Uh, I'm married now. Uh, it'll be 60 years in November. Fantastic. Mm. They don't last that long these days. No, I know yeah. it. I know it. And you had three children? 
Yes, I did. I have three children. I have a lovely daughter, Patricia, and I have a son, older son, Vincent, and a younger son, Kevin. And they're all, you know, they're all on their own. Mm -hmm. I have a great grandson, two beautiful granddaughters, mm -hmm. and uh, my son, Kevin and Vinny, are doing very well. My yep. daughter, Pat. Yep. Okay. How long have you been in the American Legion? I think it's a little over 20 years, 22, okay. 23 years, if I'm not mistaken, give or take a year. I live on Maple Avenue, and Dem Healy, who was the commander at the time, lived on Taylor Street. Uh -huh. Every time he saw me out in the yard, Mac, come, come on up and join us. I got, the, I got your application. You know, uh -huh. So that went on for 10 years, and finally I said, oh, okay, okay. When and how did you decide to become the commander? 9-11, what happened there was, uh, was a... A tragedy, tragedy that should have never happened, and we were all pretty devastated with the fact that this could happen to us. And as a result, <clears throat> we started to get together up here for some reason uh, to help, I guess, to inspire this place. And looked at it, and it was kind of shabby, and it had its own distinctive smell, and we. We figured we'd get together, but we needed somebody to run it. Well, sure enough, my brother-in-law, Herman Orfini, volunteered to, to be the commander. Yeah. No vote or nothing. He just wanted to do it, and we wanted him to do it. Yeah. And he became the commander. And, uh, of course, I was his right-hand man, and um, he did a great job. He got, it on, he got us on, on the road to recovery here, little by little. And then, of course, I... Uh, I took over after him. No one else really um, seemed to be interested in it. So I spent uh, two years doing my best here to keep it going and make it, make it uh, uh, you know, a place that people would like to come and, and, and enjoy it. And um, <clears throat> I think my only legacy to this building would be the fact that um, I managed to get enough money out of this organization to have the roof repaired, which was leaking seriously. Yeah. And I always felt great about that part of it. The final comment uh, you made to me was that you were proud to wear the uniform. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm definitely proud to wear the uniform of the American Legion. Yeah. And the United States Navy. And the United States Navy. Both. Any final comments you might have, Benny? I just hope that it continues to be as a viable organization <clears throat> and, and do what they do what they should be doing for our troops who are deployed and uh, uh, keep fighting along with this country because we, uh, we certainly don't want <clears throat> to give up on this fight for freedom. Well, as one veteran to another, I thank you for your service. I thank you, sir. Thank you very much.